So the Baltimore Ravens did deliver some rough news to us over these past two days, but with the way that they moved this offseason, they put themselves in a position to withstand it. So they should be okay. We're going to talk about that shortly. Before we do, make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on, and also leave a like on the video. Click the thumbs up button, baby. Team Keep It Clean, y'all been helping out a whole lot. Arthur Millette who yesterday he was missing in action uh, from practice. And we were like, hold up, what, what happened with Arthur Millette? He'd been practicing all the time. They've been saying how he's making all these, all these plays, getting all these interceptions and whatnot. What was going on with number 10? And the report was John Harbaugh said that uh, Arthur Millette didn't practice on Tuesday because of a knee issue. And we were like, oh. Here we go. But then when Harbaugh said this to me, it made it sound that much scarier. He said it's not going to be anything season ending, but we're looking at it right now. We have to figure out what it is. And maybe Harbaugh was just trying to get ahead uh, of the question by saying, oh, it's not going to be season ending. But to me, when he said that, I'm like, man, you, you got to start off with that. It's not going to be season ending. So to me, it made it sound like he's going to be out for a significant amount of time. But we did get a, a little bit of clarity on the situation today. Uh, this came from Cameron Wolf. He said, Ravens cornerback Arthur Millette will have a scope on his knee later this week per source. Expectation is he misses some regular season time, possibly September, but it's not season ending. Millette has been one of Ravens' top performers this camp as a slot cornerback and a blitzer. They will miss him. Uh, and then John Harbaugh, during his presser, he said that he confirmed it, that uh, Arthur Millette is going to have a scope surgery soon. Uh, and then they'll assess exactly how long he'll be out for when that time comes. Now, this does suck. Uh, Jameson Hensley even pointed out the stats from last year. He said Millette had 34 tackles, two sacks, five tackles for a loss, two fumble recoveries, and one interception. So Arthur Millette definitely made his impact known on the Baltimore Ravens last season, and he was doing that not even quietly but loudly uh, this offseason thus far. But now he, they will be they, – they won't have Arthur Millette. He'll be out of action for a while. But what can the Baltimore Ravens do now? They have options. Because of the way that they address the cornerback positions, they have a lot of different things that they could do. Now, something that we've talked about heading into this offseason, especially when you're building a roster, when you're predicting the 53-man roster for the Baltimore Ravens, a big question for me would be, oh, man, which cornerbacks do I keep? We got your locks, but then we got some guys that's question marks between cornerbacks and safeties and whatnot. But I think this actually opens up a path for our Darius Washington to be a lot safer. Early in camp. There was a lot of talk about Ardarius Washington making all these plays at safety, him looking like he had the, the leg up on the rest of the competition at that third safety position. But this was before they signed Eddie Jackson. This was before they brought back Darrell Worley. So with, with Ardarius Washington, I think with Arthur Millette being out, this actually allows him to really solidify a position for himself on the team as that slot corner something that they tried to give to him a couple years ago but it just didn't work out so this could help our Darius Washington in a big way now something that my guy coach Evans sipped to tally something that he brought up I saw he put it on Twitter and I was like oh I didn't think about that he said that now it's a possibility for Nate Wiggins to start at slot corner. And I said, whoa, Ooh, okay, coach. I, I didn't think about that at all. And I know so many Ravens fans have been thinking, like, wondering how is Nate Wiggins going to get on the field? He's a first-round pick. He's a cornerback. You know Ravens going to want to have him out there. Are they going to do the thing with, like, Marlon Humphrey where they had him rotating in with, like, Brandon Carr and Jimmy Smith and them? Or what? Are they going to handle it like that? Or is he going to have more of a, a, a role from jump, not just rotate, but really have a role? So it, it was something that would be to be determined. But with Coach saying that, I said, oh, that, that's something to think about. My guy, uh, D Racer on Twitter, he had another suggestion, and I was like, wow, like Ravens fans, y'all be thinking of everything. He said maybe now this could force the Ravens to sign a Stefan Gilmore. <laughs> so, wow, because I remember when it, Stephon Gilmore, uh, the Baltimore Ravens were named as one of the best landing spots for Stephon Gilmore. Initially, I was like, we got a lot of corners. We got a whole lot of corners. Um, but, of course, like every year, somebody gets hurt, unfortunately. I mean, that's the nature of the game. It's football. It's a very physical sport. Um, so, Stephon Gilmore could come in, play outside corner. They could kick Marlon inside. Like, 
my point though, Ravens, even without adding anybody right now, if they don't add any a single corner, they don't sign Stephon Gilmore, don't sign nobody, they have options. And they have some good options. They have a significant amount of in-house options, but then they have the outhouse options as well. And with the way that they've built the roster, again, this has put them in position to withstand the blow of losing an Arthur Millette. Now, I know that this is completely off topic because this is completely another subject, but it relates. With the way that the Baltimore Ravens built the secondary this offseason, again, they can withstand this blow from Arthur Millette. I know a lot of Ravens fans wish that they would do that same thing when it came to the wide receiver position, especially with how risky they are going into this season at that position. Rashad Bateman. Uh, who was hurt um, a couple of days ago. He landed awkwardly. Harbaugh said it ain't nothing serious. He said Rashad Bateman just landed with the ball. And that was it. So, and that doesn't happen to all of us before, where you land on the ground and the ball is right under your stomach. It's like, oh, but usually we, we get up a little bit after. We might take some time off or whatnot, even if you're done for the day. But usually next time you play with your boys or whatnot, next time you you, you on the field, you there the next time. You there the next day for sure. But Rashad Bateman... He was not at practice today. So precautionary. Hey, I, I don't know. I don't know. I hope so. But that's something to just keep an eye on because hey, it is what it is. Anyway, um, some other Ravens that were not practicing today. Tyler Linderbaum, he's still out. Now, Harbaugh did say during his presser today, he said Linderbaum was going to be out for a while. He talked about Ben Cleveland taking snaps at center. He said Linderbaum is going to be out for a while. And it kind of sounded like he, that slipped up, but hopefully his version of a while is not like long term or anything like that. So, yeah, again, we just got to wait. That's that's the only thing we can do. We just got to wait to see when we see that number 64 back on the practice field and then go from there. Good thing is, though, we still got a month before the regular season starts. So we got some time. Tyler Linderbaum got time. And again, like we talked about before, this is nothing that he, he doesn't need the preseason. He does not need the preseason at all. Tyler Linderbaum is set. He's a great player. Yeah. Anyway, um, so the Ravens who weren't practicing, again, Rashad Bateman, Tyler Linderbaum, Arthur Millette, uh, those are the three obvious ones. But um, also Trayvon Mullen, he's still out. The Harbaugh did say he's going to be out for a couple of weeks. Uh, and then uh, DeAndre Sanat, uh, the defensive lineman. Now, that's what the guys who were out, but what about who, who made their big comeback to practice, especially because they missed yesterday. Uh, with uh, an ankle injury It was Adafi Way. Adafi Way returned to practice today uh, After missing Tuesday's practice With an ankle injury I saw somebody on Twitter They said, oh, Adafi Way's injured Take a drink I said, oh boy, why y'all doing a dog fair way like that? Man, ankle just a little banged up and whatnot, but he's he straight. He showed, like, he, I think he saw that on Twitter too. He's like, nah, I ain't letting these Ravens fans get to me. I ain't letting them mess with me. I'm coming back. But it's nice that a dog fair way uh, was back in the building because he's somebody. Such a big season, man. I mean, every season is a big season, but especially when your team is like right there then every season is a big season. If your team is rebuilding, reshuffling the roster and starting over from scratch, it ain't a big season. But if your team is like the Baltimore Ravens and they like, they've been so close for so long, then yeah, it's definitely a big year. Um, Adafi Away, y'all already know, man. Y'all, I, I ain't got to say it over and over again, but Adafi Away definitely got a lot riding on this year. And of course, next year as well with the Baltimore Ravens having picked up uh, his fifth year option and just another update on the preseason game coming up uh this friday Harbaugh said that lamar jackson will not play i mean it was expected that he would not play in this preseason game i really don't think that he'll play in any of the preseason games i, I really think that everything with like jk dobbins from a couple years ago that really just changed the whole vibe of what the Baltimore Ravens do in the preseason, who they do and who they don't play in the preseason. So I think they will continue just to play it safe uh, with the majority of their starters. And we'll just continue to see a lot of backups throughout the preseason. And we also 
positive note, we were able to give away the tickets to the Ravens and Eagles preseason game this Friday. So clap it up for yourselves. I appreciate that. I appreciate everybody sharing their stories, too. They're funny stories of the week. I, I love you all for that. Now, uh, we also are going to be giving away tickets to the other preseason game at MT Bank Stadium in a couple of weeks. Now, should we do that early so people can prepare extra ahead of time, or should we do it a little bit closer to that date? Y'all let me know in the comments section.